Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, I'm glad you're here. First off, I just want to say thank you to all the channel members, thank you all so much, I appreciate you more than you know, and I want to say thank you for anybody who stops in to check out my knife, my EDC content, I really appreciate it. If you're so inclined and you hadn't had a chance yet, if you'd hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon, it would really help me out. So today we have got a video where I am going to go through and I'm going to show off some handmade knives from my buddy, Jason Grant. Brass Brigades, uh, Jason Grant is a, I would just call him a multimedia artist from a tattoo artist to a knife maker, to a knife designer. Uh, Jason started not quite a couple of years ago uh, making fixed blades. And before that, he had brought a couple of designs that I'm aware of to life. The gripper, the Grant gripper, and the little his cousin, the Grant tripper. So those were two knives he designed, and they were OEM'd by Best Tech, but then he started grinding, cutting, and making these knives. The first one that, that I made that he started calling j -Cals, they have a very unique grip. When we look at these knives, all except one of them are going to have this very pronounced front finger choil and a very neutral grip. And all the blades are going to be radically different because to me they're all functional art pieces. Um, they're, they're unique. Nothing's done on a machine. Nothing's done with jigs. Everything's pretty much done by hand. Um, this first one is a J-Cal that Jason did early on. And it is a hollow ground um, chisel. So this guy is... I want to say this one's S35. Let's see, let's cut that out. Let's cut that out. There we go. S35 VM, and then you've got a beautiful micarta. It looks like a canvas micarta handle with a brass lanyard tube and a brass mosaic pen holding everything together. So you've got your micarta scales, S35VN, deep, hollow, chisel ground, just a beautiful little knife. All these J-Cals that I requested from him are very small knives. Jason builds, bit, uh, creates, makes much larger knives too. I'm just a small knife guy. This is the first one I picked up from him. I call it my little J-Cal number one. And then moving on, I picked up a knife from Jason that he had made and he put up on the site. And I call it the Angry City Cleaver. This little guy is an absolute wicked, Warncliffe, cleavery, just unique knife. I mean, it's very pokey. It's got a very pokey point. Very slicey. I love, love, love the look. That's what drew me to it initially. I love the little exaggerated hole, kind of like an old cleaver would have um, that you used to see at your grandma's house. But I love the finishes that Jason puts on all his knives. This one is, I think, ABEL, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's ABEL. You've got black micarta handles. Um, you've got a black G10 pin. Um, you've got this, what he calls his grant uh, apocalyptic finish, I think is what he calls it. It's almost like a gun bluing and then brushing technique. Um, so I don't know if you can tell, but there's some blackout around the grind of that knife. This knife's got a deep, hollow grind with the belt satin. It's got this horn cliff point that goes up and actually turns a little bit at the tip. You can see the hollow there, but it is so sharp, it's a ferro rod striking beast. 
Again, the J-Cal gives you that handle grip that fits in your hand wonderfully. This has got a very strong, aggressive grip. I love this knife. I need to get a custom sheath made for this. Um, it is absolutely stunning. Feels great in the hand. Several different grips. If you need a utility knife, a detail knife, slurpy saver, or just something to cut with. The, uh, this angry cleaver here, my city cleaver, is wicked. I love it. I think it was my second J-Cal. Um, and then I started getting some different ones. And these aren't going to be any, in real, any real particular order. But this was something that Jason made and he put up on Instagram. And I immediately bought it. Um, I love the little thing that this came in. This needs a custom slip as well. This is... A little piece I want to say it's some type of tool steel maybe um, and it is got the coffin shape which is Jason's kind of thing the little coffin design so this is a coffin shaped single-sided package opener got a little blade there it's not gonna be much of a slicer even though it'll cut but as a tool if I can get the right slip and I need to talk to Joe at Lancelot Leather. You've got two pieces of micarta and a little bit of this mosaic pin. This is something Jason built off some scrap he had laying around. I think it's super cool. I think it's a very unique piece. I think it's a conversation piece. Um, he sent it to me in this little business card thing, this little slip. Um, I need to get more of a leather slip for it. And then when he first started working with Kydex, he had this little guy, which I thought was gorgeous. It is got G10 handles, uh, G10 pins. It's also 1095, um, using that Jason Grant black apocalyptic finish. The J Cal ness of this little knife is so awesome because it's such a little bitty guy. This little knife is. Right over four inches, like four and a sixteenth, right? Flat ground, but fits my hand. You've got two little jimps there, and then you've got this nice finger forward choil. Um, Warncliffe blade that's just short. Now it's a short blade, but it is an absolutely slicey, slicey blade. Whoops. Love this little knife. Um, this is another one I need to get a slip for. There are a lot of knives I need slips for, guys. Money makes the world go around, right? But this is a little J-Cal that I think is super cool. I haven't given it a snazzy name yet, nor have I given this one, but they're both awesome. This is a great little starter sheath. Um, and then this business card I think works great for this little piece. But two awesome little... A J Cal and a half, maybe. And then he put this up. This is what I call, and I think he calls, the Kill Bill J Cal. So it's got the red lanyard pin, it's got black G10 handles, yellow G10 liner, so it's kind of got that Bumblebee or Kill Bill, if you know the Quentin Tarantino movie. But it is a wicked Warncliffe, has been cutting all kinds of stuff. This is almost like a utility knife for me. I mean, I've hacked limbs with this. It hacks just about anything you want it to. Um, it's a cutter, right, guys? But it is, uh, all of them have great sharpening choils. But when you look at these plunge grinds and you look at these knives, they're all absolutely done by hand. So this is a little bit bigger J-Cal. You can see the handle there. It comes in right at five and three quarters. Still kind of petite, but you've got this forward finger choil and four fingers. I get a great grip on it. Came with this little sheath here that really locks in well. He's got it hatched up here so it locks in big time on those jimps. And you can push it out. So this is what I call the Kill Bill J Cal. Like this little guy. Very cool. Very cool. And then we've got 
this little guy, and I think it's, uh, I want to say this one's S35. I love this little knife. Uh, I wear it as a neck knife. I've got this leather strap on it. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to wear leather straps, but nobody's going to get close enough to me to use it to choke me. Um, again, got the finger push off here. This is one of my faves. This is an Ultim, dark Ultim, uh, left rough and then polished on the ends. You've got this little just super sharp belly and a tip. So it's a belly and a tip, really thick, nice hollow ground. All of these are full tang. You've got black Ultim pins. And this is thick, guys. So when we're talking about sliciness, this isn't necessarily my sliciest J Cal. But it is definitely one of my favorites. 0. 0.1600. 0. 0.1600. So it is a thick guy. And then behind the handle, it's going to be under a half inch, 0. 0.39. And it's a little short one. I'm going to say this one's right around 5 inches. 5 inches exactly. But it's got that J-Cal grip. So you've got that forward finger choil. Fits in my hand perfectly. And this is one that he started stamping his Grant G on. Really, really like this little knife. It is a slurpy saver. It's just a utility cutter, package opener, and I think a cool, cool art piece. So this is my little neck, J. Cal. Love that. And moving on, I wanted another neck, J. Cal. This is my tiniest J. Cal and one of my favorites. So this one's also S35. This is a little, tiny, miniature j -Cal belly knife um, with an Ultim handle, black G10, pins. Yes, guys, it cuts. So it's great for opening packages, great for just those little miscellaneous cuts, great for... I think just a collection piece. I love this little piece. I think it looks great. Uh, three, right under, right under three and a half inches long. Um, you've got this little Ultim handled G10. Again, the J-Cal grip gives me one, two, two and a half fingers. But the jimping is really tight on this guy. And it comes up. you got a flat ground blade there. Super nice little sheath that locks it in tight, and it's so light, I wear it around my neck. Super cool piece. When I do shorts with this knife, it gets always over several thousand views. I think it's just because it's a whimsical, unique little collection piece, and I love little knives, I cannot lie. So that's my little tiny, what I would call my micro j -Cal. And then moving on... Jason put this up for sale, and he'd made it, and it's, he thought it was one of his best sheaths because there's a retention point right here, but this is a unique defense knife, and I love everything about it. I love its uniqueness. I love the way that he integrated this kind of skull buster here at the back. You've got a lanyard hole there. You've got these beautiful mosaic pins that are hollow again my j cal grip this is where my retention point goes people go wouldn't that make the blade weak this is to stick off into stuff people this is like a hot dog um, poker um, this is not sharpened this swedge here but you'll notice there's a choil so it can be sharpened where you could have this sharp here sharp here um, s35 vn Super slicey, super pokey. So this is what I would call a concealed slurpy saver extreme, right? Somebody comes to take their slurpy, they're going to be leaking. This is a knife that's primary purpose is to poke, but if you need it to open a package or you need it to cut a sandwich for some crazy reason, it'll do that too. 
But this was just a unique little J-Cal that Jason put up on Instagram. And I'll put in the description Jason's Instagram. Best way to get in touch with him is to DM him or follow him. And he puts these up for sale every couple of days, the ones he's working on. Or you can get in touch with him and get something unique made. But this little guy is a wicked, wicked little, I guess you'd call it kind of a Persian. Great sheath, no rattle, beautiful handles, super pokey, to the point so to speak. And then we've got this little guy, which is one of my faves. This is what I kind of consider a little micro grant gripper. So this is a little fixie S35 flat ground G10 handles that are actually screwed on, screwed and glued. You've got these jimps that go all the way around the top kind of like a gripper. You've got this beautiful, beautiful nose that kind of tips out. So you've got a really nice splinter dig digger tip there. Super slicey, super pokey, and just a comfortable little knife. Again, you J-Cal grip, very comfortable, very ergonomic. I use one of my little MKM uh, leather slips to keep it in just because it works and I keep those in kydex sheaths so this is the little my little micro we'll call it my mini gripper jcal so that's a banger only a couple more guys this is one I picked up from fifth door that he was selling it came with this lancelot or five door came with this lancelot leather slip which I really like uh, this is a little custom Grant um, J-Cal. I love the clear Ultim handles. It's got a little bit of a skull crusher here. He left it very organic with these uh, ridges cut into the top of the, uh, the, the flat there. Jimped all the way out to the point. Very, very nice flat ground blade. Uh, very slicey. For a thicker blade and very pokey and just cool i just thought it was really cool i love the fact that you can see the weight relief and the coffin inside and the way that it's finished um, again just an artsy little small knife that i really like i find it awesome unique cool and thanks to five door i was able to pick that up so moving on we come to my most recent and the latest Jason Grant knife I've picked up, and this is not necessarily a J-Cal. It's got a little bit different handle. I call this the Carnivorous Cricket because it's a little bitty S90V knife um, that is hollow ground, and you've got two choils and a Jason Grant 3D printed bead. It looks like the Jason Grant G. You've got this lanyard that kind of makes up that handle. You've got four really nice jimps. Again, it's got that nice tip that turns up. So not only is it an absolute slicey beast, the tip is very, very cute. Very much a poker if you need it to be, but just a beautiful little knife. Again, screwed on handle scales that are G10, S90V. This is a little chunk, a um, little chode. I think it is awesome, but just like all Jason's knives, they're unique. They're their own kind of little piece of art. I would love to look in the drawer where he throws away knives that he's not pleased with because I know he's got a lot of them. Um, but he makes cool fixed blade knives and don't let my love of small knives skew what you think he can do because he does big knives too. Look at Beard of Doom's Instagram page. Beard of Doom's had some knives done by Jason that were Good size knives, I'll say by all practical uh, practical points. I'm just a littler knife guy, so that's why the ones that have attracted me 
have been these little guys. But these are all my Jason Grant J Cows. I love these guys. I love Jason. I think he's an awesome human being. I think he's an excellent artist. And let's get this one over here where we can see it. And I love his work. So, um, yeah, that's kind of that. And let's get this last piece up here. And I got to get some leather for some of this stuff. But, yeah, guys, that is my current Jason Grant Fixie Collection. I'm a huge fan, if you can tell. But I love each and every one of you guys. I appreciate you for taking the time to watch my knife, my EDC content. Do me a favor. If you're so inclined, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Most importantly, look out for the guy or gal to your left. Look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Please go forward with love in your hearts and choose debate, not hate. And I love you all. Peace.